All right. Oh, man. This morning is actually very busy, but exciting. Welcome back to another vlog. I just did a 30 minute workout um, this morning. I am actually gonna be out of town majority of this week. I'm going to the mountains with some friends on a work vacation. Well, at least I'm doing the work vacation staycation thing because I'll still be in Colorado just in the mountains and they are gonna go snowboarding and skiing which is not something that I do just gonna say that right now I don't ski I don't snowboard I've just never done it it's not something that I feel like my family does so haven't done that before don't think I'm gonna try to do that because it's also like not cheap it's expensive but yeah, I need to run a few errands. I need to return something to Target. So I'm actually gonna head out to do that right now. And then I need to grab some cash because we are gonna be, I'm gonna be in Steamboat, Colorado and they have a hot spring and the hot spring I believe is cash only. So I need to get cash cause I never have cash on me. Just not a cash girl, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to kind of get out the house, get out of my apartment, gain a new perspective. It's gonna be great. Also, I got my nails done yesterday. I went for like a shorter style, but also like it's like black, not black, it's brown marbling. So, but I wanted like that negative space kind of still, still there because I just really enjoy having negative space, especially when it grows out. It, like, doesn't look as bad. I don't know. It's not that it looks bad on other people. I feel like I would just be really annoyed for myself if it grew out and, like, my entire nail was painted a, a dark color and then all of a sudden you see the lightness. I'm just like, no. <laughs> and then also, I did my hair. Like, I braided my hair. Literally, I did this by myself. This is week two of having it. I've never braided my hair before. Didn't think it was possible, but I did it like fully. I mean, it's not perfect. It was my first time, you know, it was my first time doing it, but it came out really good. I showed my grandma, she's like, I'm really proud of you. And that's honestly all the praise and accolades I could ever ask for. Knowing that my grandma's proud of me makes me feel really good. <laughs> But anyways, I need to like get on this. I didn't um, bring sunglasses and it's very sunny, very sunny this morning, which is great. You know, we love the sun. I feel like it really boosts my mood. Another thing is that I have a video that I need to film for you guys as an update because I said I would do this. I'm pretty sure I said I would do this. Can I go? Yeah, I can go. Oh, the mountains look so beautiful. Yo! Uh, the street that I'm on, like you can, you get a really beautiful view of the mountains. I wish I could show you, but oh my gosh, it's so, it's so beautiful. Anyways, I... I think I said this in my life update video last year that I would do like a fitness journey report card once a quarter and I didn't end up doing that last year because things with work got so intense and so hectic and now I'm in a slow season at work so I have a lot more time to you know film and edit and stuff like that like after work and stuff. I don't feel like I'm, you know, stressed out of my mind, which is a good thing, <laughs> like, you know, to no longer be stressed about that. But I feel like this year I'm back on track with my weight loss portion of my overall fitness journey. So I hope to have it filmed, uploaded, and edited by the end of March so that it goes up like the last, like the first week or first day of April or something like that. Probably the first week of April. I might actually end up doing it like the last, like kind of filming 
I don't know. I'll do it like the last days of March and then upload it in April so that it kind of fits in with being at the end of the quarter, beginning a new quarter, essentially, of the year. So, oh, I realize I am speeding right now. Man, the mountains look so insane this morning. It is so crazy. But yeah, I'm going to head into Target now so I can return, make this return, essentially. I wonder if this place is open. Not open. Only Target is open this early. I mean, this specific Target. I will check in with y'all when I'm on my way or sooner. I don't know. <laughs> I'll check in with y'all later. Good morning. So we arrived last night. I'm going into the bathroom because the dogs are, I mean, I don't think I can escape the dogs, but we got here last night, um, not last night, like mid afternoon. And then we went to, how you doing? It's like a pizza place, but also attached to a brewery here in Steamboat. And, then after that we were able to kind of check in i'll give you all a tour later of what this place looks like but everyone just left to go ski and snowboard for several hours they might come back for lunch but yeah everyone has dogs well there's one two three four yeah there's four dogs here and they are upset and barking and whining right now but I'm gonna take a shower before I head into a one-on-one -on -one. cuz this is like a work staycation for me so during my lunch break I'm actually gonna see about going to a coffee shop later and exploring but um, I think before that happens I have like meetings back to back for like several hours and then I will take my lunch to go to a coffee shop but then i think before that i'll give you guys a tour of the place here in steamboat like everyone's basically catching this shuttle it's going to take them up so that they can go ski and snowboard i'm not a huge skier or snowboarder i'm i mean i'm not a skier snowboarder at all like i've never done it so there's the whole terminology is foreign to me but it's a really nice place super cozy and yeah, I'm just gonna take a shower now, get ready for the day, get out of my pajamas that I've had <laughs> for forever, and get my day started. Do I have my... I need to get my hair tie, but yeah, I will check in with y'all later. All right, showered and clean and ready. So I can't give you a full tour because some of the dogs are in people's rooms and they will literally go crazy if I went in there. But also, like, we've also put our stuff everywhere, and I don't want to put people's stuff on the internet like that. Um, I mean, there's like some water bottles out here, but still, I'm not gonna go into the room. So I'll just show you like the general shared spaces, as well as the room that I was in, <laughs> and the room that I'm now in. 
I mean, I'm still in the room. Basically what happened is that last night I went into my room and realized that the windows were open. And so my room was like so cold. So we put the heating on and my room just never got warm. So at midnight I moved to the futon, which is like in the foosball area. And that was like way warmer. And I'm just thinking the front of the house doesn't get as warm as the rest of the house um or maybe it's just that room it's not as ventilated because it it'd be staying freezing in there but I'll, I'll start with that first all right here we have the front door you can see my shadow hello and then we have my room i took off the comforter it had a better presentation than this but it's cold in here and yeah this is where my stuff is and out here you can just see like you know a little entryway to kind of get into our little apartment situation this is my room that is literally just going to be a place where i have my stuff and there's a closet in there nothing's really in there and then it leads to the bathroom, which you can get to the bathroom from the hallway. Hello, this is the bathroom. So yeah, it's the bathroom. And then, as I said, you can get here to the hallway again, see the front. And then we go into, have like a little mudroom situation going on here and the little dining area I'll just go over here actually so we have the dining area that's where I'm working and the kitchen and this is where I came up last night to sleep and it was actually so warm then we have a foosball here and then, you know, stairs that kind of lead up. And if I were to go up there, there's a room that has like a bathroom in there. We have several dogs in there. And then it just kind of looks over the living room down there, which is where we watched the Super Bowl last night. Cool little um, gas, what you call it, chimney, fire, place gas fireplace it's really cool yeah this is the living room here and then there's a bed down there but there's also dogs on the other side here so not gonna go down there because they're gonna go wild and the TV the fireplace little area and then we can just open this up Ooh very cold you can see out if I walk a little bit further actually this is where we are you can hear the dogs whining I feel so bad for them but I can't take them out but yeah that is a quick tour of the place I'm actually going to FaceTime my grandma a little bit because she wants to see the place as well. And then I have meetings for like the next two and a half hours. So after that, I will take y'all on the town, I guess, or kind of what things look like. So yeah, very exciting stuff, but it's just a work staycation for me. So I'm not trying to do the most. I'm trying to like relax honestly I am gonna edit some videos while I'm here I'm gonna read I brought my book I have an audiobook that I need to finish so I'm gonna get you know some other work done as well edit some photos edit some videos get all that kind of done and dusted but yeah nothing too nothing too crazy it's gonna be a pretty chill few days we leave Wednesday or Tuesday <laughs> oh 
So today's a full day and tomorrow's a full day of being here and then gonna be gone. But yeah, I'll just share a little bit of the stuff that we kind of get up to um, or that I get up to. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> I don't disagree. <laughs> Well, finally heading out, driving my car friend's car, never driven her car before, but it's a first. Oh gosh. I'm going to a coffee shop and I'm going to read for a little bit because I think that is just the right move for me right now. I'll see y'all there. Hopefully I don't get embarrassed and vlog in public. Y'all know how I'm like, we'll see if it actually happens. So just came back from the coffee shop and no one else is home yet from snowboarding and skiing. So I'm just going to continue getting some work done. I had a vanilla matcha latte with almond milk. It was delicious. And now I am going to get some work done. Um, I was also reading The Witcher. I'm almost done with The Blood of Elves. And I have an audiobook that I'm probably going to listen to uh, later on for my book club. Because it's based on a movie that's coming out, or that's already out. It's like the Nile something. It's like a murder mystery, I think, or thriller. I've been blanking on the name, but yeah. So I need to do that. But I'm just going to get stuck into work, and I will most likely check in with y'all tomorrow. All right, so it's currently 11.45. I just finished work this morning, had a meeting, a few requests come in, finished it pretty quickly. <laughs> the plan is I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna head into town. Honestly, I feel comfortable vlogging on my phone, so I probably won't bring my camera with me, but I will get some stuff of what I get up to in town on my phone, and then I'm gonna pick up everybody from the base of the mountain because they're only going to be skiing and snowboarding for a little bit because we're going to the hot springs. Workday is pretty, you know, pretty easy today, which is really nice. Um, I've accomplished everything. We're in a slow season, so it like makes sense. 
and yeah that's all i got guys i'm gonna go take this shower and get ready for the day Alright, back in the car, I got the Great Expectations Tea Latte, it's Earl Grey with vanilla and honey, and I got it with some oat milk, but yeah, they have some really cute shops out here, so now I'm going to head back to the place because I think everyone is wanting to get picked up around 2, 2.30, and it's about to be 2, 2.30. So, I'm going to just head Starting back now. That's a good latte. I just finished the Great Expectations latte. I, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. It is so good. It's not super sweet it's like it's a slightly better version of a london fog it's really really good so if you ever come to steamboat get great expectations at this coffee shop it's so delicious <laughs> 